this young man is Bjorn. He's so good with Pokemon. Even La Primera has taken an interest in him. Oh wow, oh wow. But I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong too. Oh, we only thought Team Star was the evil crime syndicate. Now we're going to open up a whole new branch of the game and it's going to be Team Poppy. <laughs> Poppy's Playtime. Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. Whoa, it's like actually a legit cinematic. Not just me reading text. Well, I have to be reading text. I. I'm willing to bet. <laughs> Nothing's voice acted in Pokemon games, silly me. Alright, you ready for a battle, Bjorn? Excellent, you're ready too, right, Mabo Steve? Oh no. After I've spent the entire game finding the Herba Mystica to save your little Mabo Stiff, we're going to get into a Pokemon battle and I'm going to irrevocably harm and damage your Mabo Stiff, and we're going to be right back where we started. Ah. Yep, Mabostiff says he's ready. Whoa, it's Minecraft Pokemon 3.0. <laughs> Alright, Mabostiff, don't die when Pokemon destroys you in a single move. The opposing Mabostiff died. Did you see that text? No, just kidding, it said fainted. <laughs> But yeah, as far as, oh, Tauros, my precious, beautiful babies, I can't catch you all because that'd take me like a half hour, but I can kill you all. And at least from the north side. What are these? This is new, isn't it? Nice. I feel cheap just kind of climbing up the mountains here, not doing it legit. Oh man, look at this, it's like a bog. Let's just pretend that I walked all the way around the mountains. Oh nice, it's like a bamboo forest. Alright, yeah, this is interesting, see, because like you could theoretically get here at the very beginning of the, or early in the game, right? But you wouldn't be able to cross the water to get that. And as you can see, now I can't even get out of the water <laughs> to the end game on this game. Oh, it's a Dragonite! Check that out. How do you suppose I get that beast? You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Bjorn. Bjorn, Cassiopeia. Director Clavel, I mean... Clive. When we're finished with this base, Will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We still need to take over the world. Uh, I mean, handle the Team Star's secret mastermind last of all. I can see that miniskirt and legs from here. You're pretty skilled. Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. Should I say something or... Okay. <laughs> oh boy. So we have like a very scantily clad gal in a short miniskirt. We could either say something or, or, get a closer look. <laughs> she might try to stop this raid in its tracks by challenging you to a battle before anyone else. Yeah, we already met. I knew it. Tell me what happened. I was like trying to check her out, getting a closer look. Oh, she retreated? We're talking about the same area, right? Time to wipe the calf squad off the map. So if they're called the Calf Squad, does that mean like she's super into her legs and thinks she has the most beautiful calves ever? You know what would be hilarious and trolly? <laughs> Is if these battles that you can't even initiate were like shiny Pokemon. Not all of them, but like maybe just like one shiny Pokemon or two per base that you see and you'd be like, Oh, I want that from Cat, want to catch it, but you can't. 
still disappointed my Pokemon never evolved into that. I know I'm not talking about the pretty girl, actually, I'm talking about the, uh, the automobile. Yeah, her, her face mask doesn't look at all attractive. And speaking of face masks, it doesn't look like it would protect against the world's deadliest virus. But then again, um, people's face masks that they use evidently didn't. Oh snap, um, I shouldn't be talking about such things. Whoa, check that beast out. Not only, not only is this scantily clad gal in a miniskirt on top of the Pokemon, she's also riding the Pokemon. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay, I lied. Oh no, this is special attack. It is. Okay. Never mind. I lied that I lied, so therefore I still lied, unfortunately. Dang it. Now you're gonna have to get off the Pokemon. <laughs> uh, no nothing that can be said is safe anymore. I gave my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. Maybe it's because you didn't have enough clothes on. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I'd want you to have this. Bjorn, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Ares' star badge? Yes, ma'am, or sir, or it. I don't even know what pronoun you want. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. After that, they should soon be back attending classes at the academy. I get it. Cassiopeia is the truant officer. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. Called it. Called it. I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. You gross. Sup, Bjorn? Director Clavel? Oh, come on. The name's Clive, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. It's a Zorork! In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of the Naranja Academy. Mr. Clavel. No way! Yes, this must be quite the shock. My disguise was perfect, after all. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. I knew it! He's gonna rip off his clothes and be a Zorua. I like that kid in the background. He's just like, he's just like completely oblivious to this raging battle. Oh, and you know, off the cuff snowstorm. He's just like chilling out with his rock ruff there. It is true, isn't it? NPCs don't have any lives. You know, we should fix that and create a completely non-profit organization called NPC Lives Matter, in which, like, you know. We won't actually buy ourselves large mansions with some of the donated funds. Quack -qua ball. Oh my goodness, that thing is hideous. <laughs> and here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I leave this in your hands. You there! What do you think you're doing? Uh-oh! Caught by the map person. Oh, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Ah, uh, no, if, if I could just explain, you see, it, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me your excuses, Rick, worse than a stunky's behind! A stunkies b, b, b behind You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once, and I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Good gracious, no. I anything but that, I implore you. 
Yeah, next time, just, you know, do it legally. Like, here's the deal. Some druggie asked me if Wyoming should legalize marijuana, and I'm like, just go south of the border into Colorado where it's legal. Like, get the crap out of Wyoming, go down to Colorado where we know all of the people suck anyway, and do your drugs. Like, any other problems you want me to fix? Jeez.